Did you know that Docker for Enterprise is no longer free for enterprise users? This particular announcement was done by Docker almost a year ago. Post that there are different alternatives which people are routing towards. Recently, I came across an alternative called Colima using which you can create container runtimes using either Docker as a runtime or container D as a runtime in Mac or Linux machines. If you're using M1 Max, you know how painful it is when you're setting up Docker with compatibility issues. Colima solves all those problems. It abstracts different VMs, it can support Intel processor, and also it can support M1 chips. You can use Colima with container D as a runtime, or you can use Docker as a runtime. Colima leverages the Docker CLI, and if you see the uh, notice which Docker desktop had no, uh, published, the Docker CLI is still free for us to be used. So we can use Docker CLI, Docker Compose, the Docker Engine, all those are free. We can still use them, but Docker Desktop is chargeable for enterprise users. If you're using it for your personal use, of course, all these softwares are free, including the Docker for Desktop. But then if you want to flip between different runtimes, uh, like I do, I sometimes flip between container D uh, for runtime for Kubernetes or with Docker for Kubernetes. Just to reduce my um, VMs and the CPU utilization, I try to move to container D because it doesn't make sense for me to uh, use Docker engine when container D is available. So I use Colima to flip between these two runtimes. So what does Colima do apart from uh, doing that? You can use Colima with Kubernetes as well. So you can start Colima with Kubernetes and also you can use different runtimes, either Docker or um, container D. In order to install uh, Colima, you have to do brew install Colima. Uh, all the commands which I had run is all present in this particular GitHub readme. I'll paste this in the description. You can take it from there. So I just did a brew install Colima. It installed Colima. Uh, I did not have Docker engine earlier. I used to use container D, so Docker engine was not there. So I installed Docker as well. So, so if you see here right now, the Docker engine is not running. However, my Colima is running right now. So if I do Colima status, you can see that my Colima is running with container D as a runtime and uh, it's using the architecture 64. So the biggest advantage of Colima is you can start Colima with um, different configurations. So you can start Colima with uh, VM configuration. You can start Colima with Kubernetes. You have SSH uh, onto Colima. So if let's say I do Colima start hyphen hyphen help. I can see the different properties which I can use. So I can do Colima start edit. I can do runtime container D. I can do Colima start Kubernetes. By default, if you don't provide any runtime, it will use Docker as a runtime. I will show that in a bit. Uh, but meanwhile, these are the commands, right? You can also start Colima with different CPU and memory configuration. You can also provide different disk space allocated for the container runtimes as well. You can also change the architecture for Colima while starting up. Uh, you can change it from the default um, uh, architecture. So here I'm using the M1 Mac. So the architecture is ARC64, right? Also, if you want to provide any DNS configuration, you can do that as well. So if you see here, uh, you can start Colima with a different DNS routing configuration. So I'm going to show you uh, right now. I think I have Colima running. So let me start stop Colima. So this will stop Colima. Uh, so Colima is just like a wrapper. Imagine Colima as a wrapper around uh, Docker and Kubernetes and Docker CLI or container D. It's up to you which platform or which container runtime to use. So if I just do Colima, I'll just show you Docker. Docker is not running right now. I don't have Docker desktop. Uh, so if you want me to show Docker desktop, I don't have Docker desktop here. So see here, there's nothing running. Uh, I don't have the Docker engine running right now. If I just do Colima start, Colima will start Docker engine for me. So I just did a Colima start, nothing else. I did not do any other command apart from just saying Colima start. Right. So it's doing bunch of uh, different things. It's going to set up my Docker engine and then it's going to start my Docker engine. So finally, Colima said it is done and it has started. Uh, I'll just say Colima status. So see here, the status shows that the runtime is Docker and also it shows which is the socket, which is which is mount and also what is the mount type. 
uh, now I can do docker ps so this will show that there are different docker there's nothing running actually right so now if I want to flip the uh, runtime I can just say colima stop so this should stop the docker engine I'll also show you the uh, colima now I'll show you the colima status so it says colima is not running I can also show you that docker is not running now if I want to show, start with colima start runtime I can just say container D this will start colima with container D as a runtime and I can use that if I'm going to use kubernetes then I can just say start with kubernetes and you can provide the runtime so you just need to say start colima start with kubernetes and then runtime you can define either you want to have docker or container d so it can use either of them so it has now started i just did container status if i do docker ps it should not connect because i'm using container d as a runtime so if you don't know what is container d i think i made a video on container d it's a another alternative for docker engine it doesn't run the engine as such or the daemon process it's very lightweight and you can use it for running containers the same docker image can be run as a container inside container d i use uh, colima for productive um, usage or controlling kubernetes and docker if you are using docker and kubernetes in your day-to-day -day space if you're using enterprise applications move to some open source alternatives like colima you can uh, feel free to uh, try out colima and then see how it makes a difference in your productive day-to-day -day activity i hope you found this particular tool useful as always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.